What's happening, folks? Gerald here, aka J Fro90, coming at you with another reaction, a very special brandy reaction. So, before we get to it, need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Now, without further ado, this is Brandy with Angel in Disguise live. <laughs> guessing that's where it goes into another song <laughs> um wow so i i love seeing that song brought to life i love seeing and i love her live vocals on it and the dance moves the choreography that is it's just it's surreal to be back in the space of listening to that song i grew up with brandy i remember when moesha was newish i remember when brandy's album the first album from 94 with newish my mom had to tape <laughs> and we loved it we bumped it a lot and oh god i remember never say never i remember the eras i remember the eras and um brandy was a huge part of my brandy was a huge deal like 
I don't think people who weren't a part of that time could quite get that. That, like, no, Brandy, like, and she was a model, and she had the Barbie. Like, growing up, and she was all over the radio and all over the TV because she was also in movies and TV movies with Cinderella. I still know what you did last summer. It's it's all, it's funny to think I, her her trajectory has always kind of been baffling for me. Even it's not to say anything like you know she's not a big deal now because I think she is a legend uh, now with all that she's accomplished, especially at that time. But where she is now doesn't match quite where she was heading to me and I never quite I, I know the reasons we don't we don't have to go down <laughs> but I don't think that I don't think the reasons were applicable personally so but anyway that's it I was a fan of Brandy and I was a fan of Brandy's voice and her music but it wasn't until my sister burned a copy of well asked my uncle to burn a copy of her full moon album that a friend let her borrow and my uncle had had no clue who brandy was when my sister presented the cd for him to burn and he listened and fell at, fell in love with her voice at first listen he very much felt she was one of the best singers he's ever heard that's how he would put it that <laughs> with her harmonies and her ability he was so impressed and he would play he had this massive incredible speaker system in the basement uh where he lived and he would all his favorite music he would play at full blast and i swear if you were in the kitchen the floors you could almost feel a shake when <laughs> certain songs certain vibes angel in disguise angel in disguise i remember vividly being in that kitchen and feeling like I could feel that bass through the floor and being so moved. And I, I have the excitement, feel, rem, the excitement memory of when the song was going out, fading out, and then he restarted it. <laughs> it's like, hey, yes, yes. And that song was always very important to me. And um, I say that because we lost him in 2004, like a year after this, like he got the, that, that was one of the last like big musical deals for him in his lifetime. Um, since we lost him almost 20 years ago now, I haven't played that song that much because it kind of holds to special of a place, but two, I didn't know the name of the song. I honestly thought it was from the full moon album because, because it really sounds like full moon to me. Um, but recently, since I moved back here to Detroit, one of the radio stations played that because someone requested it, but they played that when we were on the way to my great grandmother's house, which is the place where my uncle lived and we'll play that song. And I was so moved and I had all these instant memories of that kitchen and the floor. So anyway, 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 this song means a lot and... I, want, I just, off the top of my head, I was wondering if she had ever performed it. She did. You know, I had an epiphany sitting here, you know, with this reaction that I think this is ahead of its time. And that, like I said, it confused me. I really thought this song was off of Full Moon. I really did. I did not know this was off of Never Say Never. But it really shows that Rodney was ahead of his time in terms of that production because that is... That reminds me of Full Moon. You you hear why I would think that was from Full Moon. You hear, it's like, it reminds me too of the song, the slower songs, which are my favorite songs from Michael Jackson's Invincible album, you know. So, yeah, that it's amazing to see this song brought to life. She killed it. She killed it. Uh, I, I, would lo I would love to hear her today with her voices a bit deeper and a bit more richer and all that. I'd love to hear those vocals with it too. But um, thank you guys for watching. This this meant a lot to me. Rest in peace to my uncle Howard forever. Thank you for giving me. He like I say, my family we loved Brandy before he did, but he helped me love her more. He really did. He really really did. I remember you know back another I just it broke my heart. He passed away before the Aphrodisiac era. Before talk about our love and everything. Cause it's all he would have been. 
excited for to be a part of a new brandy era <laughs> you know so yeah but anyway anyways just thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications check in the description for all the social medias for you to follow me you can also join the channel you can join my patreon all benefits are on hold until i move into my house which should be soonish but we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see um yeah i'm doing a lot of moving all over the place until i get into my place so anyway anyway just thank you for even taking the time to push play on this video today that means so much to me and it goes a very long way and beyond everything else please take care of yourselves and each other